Hello, this is Joseph Simchero from Motive Center. Today I just want to share with you the best kept secret of success. I actually regret having discovered this concept much later in my life. If I had known this concept earlier, <laughs> I would be someone. But anyway, let me share it with you. It's I'm not the originator of this concept, I actually learned it from Jeff Olson the author of The Slight Age. So it's called The Slight Age Philosophy. Jeff Olson argues that success is not dramatic, but it's so subtle that a lot of people miss it. So this is how it happens. When we start out in life, uh, this is, your, this, this is your, your philosophy, these are your concepts, this is the way that you view life, all right? So when we start out in life, this is us, and this is success, okay? And this is failure. So as we start out, you will realize that uh, we, we start out most of the times almost the same. Let's take an example of school when we are still in school, right? Uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are going along well. We are almost the same. There's not much difference in the way that we are doing our, our school work. There's not much difference in the way that we are studying. But someone may then just adopt a concept or a discipline where they say, I have to commit an hour a day to my studies, all right? So this one is committing to an hour a day, and this one decides to play. And during this time, this is when a lot of uh, kids start resorting to bad habits, like smoking, drinking, you know, all those sorts of things. And this one resorts to those kinds of things. And this one is committing an hour a day to study. So as they are doing this, there's not much difference in their lives. But as we go along, you realize with time, this one is gravitating towards failure. And as this one is committing to use hour a day, you realize as time goes on, he's now moving towards success. So when we get now to this point of realization, this one realized they are failure in life, and this one is a success. This one tends to believe that this one succeeded because they were lucky. Maybe at some point, maybe let's just say at this point, this one got a scholarship. This one failed and didn't go further with his studies. So this one will say, this guy was just lucky. He did not be for that scholarship which he got. He wouldn't be where he is. But we fail to realize that the small little disciplines that this person was engaging in are the ones that made him a candidate for the scholarship, which eventually catapulted him to success. And this one, because of those small little disciplines, became an ultimate failure. So, Jeff Paulson goes on to argue that these people have got some dominant qualities. This one is a dominant quality of responsibility. This one, their dominant quality is responsibility. And this one, their dominant quality is blame. These ones, they don't brainstorm, they blame storm. Whereas these ones take responsibility for their lives. These are the ones that blame the government. They blame the weather. They blame the traffic. They blame colonialism. They blame imperialism. They blame nepotism. They blame all possible isms. And these ones take responsibility. I actually like the words of Robert Ellis. Robert Ellis said, the best years of your life are the ones when you realize your problems are your own. You don't blame them on your mother, the ecology, or the president, but you know that you are the author of your own destiny. So these ones, they understand that they are the authors of their own destiny, whereas these ones, they are into blaming others. Yet, it's their attitudes and their behaviors that led them to failure. Now, if you look at the small incremental steps that these ones were taking, you'll find that those small incremental steps, like reading 30 minutes a day or one hour a day, are easy to do. Okay? They are easy to do. And also, the same ones are easy not to do. Easy not to do. So, this one succeed by incremental steps that are easy to do and this one's failure fail rather and this one's fail because of incremental steps that are easy not to do so because of that these ones are failures and these ones are success 
people now what i want to leave you with is wherever you are in life like i said i discovered this concept late don't say i discovered this too late in life now it's uh, i can't start anymore it's already too late no you have to understand that it's never too late to start it's always too late to wait so start developing success habits and as certain as night follows day you'll find that those small ripples of action will culminate in an outrageous type of massive success and you'll find yourself here so this concept applies to all aspects of life right they can apply to your financial success financial success your relationships let's just say relations or your health it applies to all aspects if you invest in your relationship gradually incrementally you are going to reap some excellent relationships if you do the same in your finances if you do the same in your health you end up having better health better relationships and better finances i hope this helps if it does i encourage you to share with others and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel or if you have some comments please add them to the comment section or questions or some suggestions of other topics that you believe can be able to help you in your journey please add them i'll meet you in the next video